Welcome to another video on magnetic fields. In this question, we are still talking about magnetic forces on a moving charge. But first, let us explain or define what is meant by the term magnetic field. So whenever you see the word field, it's always a region of space. Okay, so force field is a region of space where certain properties, where objects with certain properties will experience a force. For example, um, gravitational field is a region of space where mass will experience a force. Electric field is a region of space where charge experience electric force, gravitational force. What about magnetic field? Also a region of space. But in this case, what are the conditions? Charge is not good enough, you need a moving charge. So region of space where a moving charge. Miss, what well, about other things like, for example, current carrying conductor? Also can. Current carrying conductor. You could even put poles of magnet. Poles of permanent magnet. I mean, don't be extra, la, choose one to write. Poles of permanent magnet experiences a force. Hmm. So the mark here would be region of space where something experiences a force, one mark. And the second mark would be the condition. Like in this case, the condition here is either moving charge, current, carrying conductor, any of this lah, is one mark. All right. Part B. The particle has mass M and charge positive Q and speed V. All right. Okay, stated here already. Particle enters a uniform magnetic field of flux density B such that on entry, it is moving normal or perpendicular to the magnetic field. Beautiful. So it will enter this way. So I'm guessing the magnetic field is pointing into the paper or out of the paper. In fact, they mentioned here perpendicularly into the plane of the paper. On figure 8.1, draw the path of a particle through and beyond the region of the magnetic field. Nani, the path of the particle is three marks. This is beautiful. This is bonus. Okay, time to use your left hand. Warm up a bit. We're going to use FBI. Sorry. My left hand looks like my right hand to you because the camera is flipped. Time to use your left hand. So it says here that the magnetic field is pointing into the paper. So B is going in. It's going to draw maybe a bit here. Okay. So if you take your left hand, right, your finger, your pointing finger, FBI, pointing finger is going in. Come on, you got to do this with me. Okay, I will know if you didn't. So B is pointing inwards. Then FBI, current will follow the direction of positive charge flow. Current follow positive charge. If it's negative charge, then current go against negative charge. So we follow positive charge, which means now my middle finger is not following, is following the direction of the arrow. So B is going in, pointing finger is in. Current, follow the direction of the arrow. And where's my thumb? Where's my beautiful thumb pointing upwards? Okay, so do it with me. Your hand should look like mine. Cool. So this one is going to be pointed upwards. So I'm just going to write here. FB is up. So if this is three marks, uh, I will try my best to draw the perfect drawing. If that is even possible. So... Uh, it starts off by the undeviated part, which is this one. This is the undeviated part. By undeviated, it means if there is no magnetic field, the part will travel in a straight line. Yeah, Newton's first law. A particle or an object will not change its direction of motion unless acted on by an external force. So we know that there is an external force FB acting on this particle. The particle will turn upwards. And it will turn on a circular part. So... You will draw something like this upwards. And then it says through and beyond. So after this, you still need to draw. And when we say beyond, this part here has to be a straight line. 
case i'm gonna try to try my best to draw a straight line no promises because it's a tablet but you draw a straight line continue this and just draw a straight line okay so it's a bit hard for me because this is on the tablet but um during the exam please take a ruler here is a straight line that is a continuation of this part this part here should look like the arc of a circle you should begin turning upon entry to the magnetic field. So don't draw like that. Uh. Let's say this is your magnetic field region and this is your no deflection pathway. Hey, your particle... Hiya, I forgot to turn. There only you turn here. Then here to here, I am like, what on earth happened here? So make sure you, you begin turning here. Okay? And this uh, pathway is circular. So where are the three marks? Uh, single part deflected upwards is one mark. So one mark is when you have an upward direction. You only draw one now. You don't draw, draw up, go draw down, then sorry. Though. Only one. So one mark is for upward. One mark is for acceptable circle. Acceptable from the perspective of the examiner. If you are like very stressed or bring a projector to the exam hall. Then you can make sure it's a perfect circle. Okay? No kinks. So there's no like weird broken lines anywhere. You can see there's kind of like a kink here. But I'm drawing using a tablet. You should make sure during your exam there's no kinks. Okay? And also at the same time, uh, end of the curvature, it should be a straight line. Okay? So this part is circular. And it will be a straight line when it's moving out of the curvature. Right, so that would be the last mark. Straight line when it uh, escapes the this part here. One mark. Straight line. After it escapes the field. Okay. Wow, this kind of bonus three mark. I won. Alright, next. There is a force acting on the particle, you don't say, causing it to accelerate. Hmm, magnetic force law, this one. Explain why the speed of the particle leaving the field is still V. So the why the velocity's magnitude doesn't change. Why is it still the same magnitude? Well, we have talked about similar explanations before. The reason why it's a circular part is because the direction of FB is perpendicular to the circle. Okay, so to not the, to not um, mess up my diagram or make it look very messy, I'm not going to draw FB here. Okay, so by the way, this is wrong. I'm just put a big cross here. Okay, so we're going to talk about the direction of the magnetic force with respect to the velocity. So you could say that the force, magnetic force on the particle, magnetic force on the particle, is normal or perpendicular to the velocity of the particle. Or the direction of velocity of the particle. Okay? So this is the first point. And the second point you could say, hence, the magnetic force provides the necessary centripetal force. So that's why the magnitude doesn't change. But the entire mark is here. La. This whole thing is one mark. Okay, so moving on. The particle in B loses an electron, that's sad, so that its charge becomes positive to Q. Okay, so your charge from Q become positive to Q. The change in mass is negligible, understandable, because the electron is pretty light. Determine in terms of V, the initial speed of the particle, such that the part remains unchanged. Explain your working. Okay, so for the part to remain unchanged, Magnetic force that provides centripetal force 
you think about this one, this is m v square over r. So for part to be unchanged, your r is constant. Part unchanged. It's the same magnetic field. So b is also constant. All right. So here you can put b q v. Okay. So what they're asking you is, right now, if it's the same particle, just with a different charge, and the mass is constant, change in mass is negligible. So from here, you can put M is also constant. Wow. So what do we have now? Everything is constant. Okay, let us rearrange the equation first. V and V can cancel. And then what you have left is, uh, I guess, I could rearrange this. What kind of rearranging should I do? Hmm. I want to find in terms of V, the initial speed, when Q becomes 2Q. So maybe I put V as a subject of my equation. I think that's a fair, as a good enough strategy. So V here would be BQR divided by M. But what are our constants? Magnetic field strength is constant. Uh... Mass is constant, cause change in mass is negligible. I want to use the same pathway, so R is constant. So because of this, since B, M, and R are constants, so then what we can do is V is proportional to Q. So hence, I guess you could use, uh, you could, I think if it's proportional, you can just write a sentence. Uh, if Q is doubled, from positive Q to positive 2Q, V should be double. So hence the new speed is 2V. Miss, this one need to write 2 as F. Ah. No need. Lah. This one is a uh, term. It's not a calculated value. All right. So I guess if you want to visualize this conceptually, you can. I have the same uh, magnetic field. Uh, I'm going to draw a center line here to represent the undeviated pathway. So the first particle of positive Q, positive Q, let's say it deviates this way. Okay? And then if you want to, you can continue to draw this one as a straight line. Lah. But it's going to be hard for me because I don't have a ruler. All right? Then... If let's say now we substitute this with another positive 2Q, and if I want the positive 2Q to travel along the same path, it means that they have the same radius, okay? And they both have the same mass because electrons' mass is very negligible, so the change is negligible. That's why R is constant, change in mass is constant. You're talking about the same magnetic field, so the magnetic field is constant. So the only thing that will affect your part or the radius of this curvature or this deflection is the charge Q. That's the only thing that will affect your circular part and also the velocity. So this means that the faster charge should move faster because it has a larger force. So this is 2V. And the slower charge can afford to move, sorry, the smaller charge can afford to move slower because the FB is small. Large charge to keep the same curve, travel faster because FB is greater. Small charge to keep the same curve, travel slower because FB, magnetic force, is smaller. So this is a conceptual understanding. But you can also obviously use equations to help you. So just careful, analyze the question. Very similar to previous questions in this topic. You have to read carefully to decide which are constants. Okay, so draw around the question, practice some more. Hopefully that was helpful. Good luck with your studies and your A2 exams. Uh, as usual, like, share, subscribe, and uh, keep learning physics. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.